ways, uh, in different ways, but what we won't do is stand backstage and be stupid together in the dressing room and joke like we joke. I'm not, I'm not gonna miss that more than anything. You were never very funny anyway. You know <laughs> You fucking hate that I'm the funniest in the world. That's all right. You don't laugh at your own jokes and you be that guy all the time. <laughs> For the first time now, you realise. Literally, that you know, uh, a theatre can never sound like an arena, yeah. and it does tonight. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. celebrate our careers, not, not try not to get too emotional, try to get through it, be there for each other like we always are, and, and, and just do the best performance we possibly can, give all these people fantastic memories to, to remember this day. But I think we're all in the, in the trolls are getting a bit choked up, you know. We've got great, you know, support mechanisms in our families, and they're all here tonight to mind us. When we fall apart. <laughs> um, when every night we've come on, by the way, with Harriet, our team have played a different song, a different tune as we walk down the stairs. And for the first time, when I heard Superman, that. I joked you out. I joked you out. Theo and knows about Superman and knows about what, you know, he had a big tattoo on his chest. And when he passed, we all got uh, our tattoos of Superman. Mine's very blatant on my hand and uh, the kind of um, So I think that was important. It's an important bit of music to hear, actually. You know, I didn't even realise myself. I didn't even thought that was coming. So yeah, it, was, yeah. it was amazing to hear, actually. It was beautiful. You know, um, on social media earlier, when, when the show, when, when, the, when the lift sort of got a bit broken, can we have to talk about that? Yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody was saying, Steve doesn't want you to stop, that's what's going on. But you see, he's just pissed off, right? And I'll tell you for why. He's pissed off because this was the last theatre he performed in in the West End in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Yeah. And he didn't get a cheer if there was really getting too He got dragged out the roof. And some harness is the kid catcher. And uh, I was here the last night and it was amazing. But um, you fooled that one. <laughs> so now he's out to get his back. We've obviously talked a lot about, about Stephen every night on stage. Um, and it's fair to say, perhaps if Stephen was still with us, that the band would continue. Oh, I think that would be it. I think that would be talking. The truth is, when um, when Steel passed, that was the end of the band, and, and what we did for the last ten years, which is hard to believe, is what we thought the right thing. We we made music. Still we making thought, great songs. Yeah, we, we thought it was the right thing. We thought, we thought that's what Stephen would want. We struggled in our positions, in our places, even on stage, and it's. It's, it's been really tough, and for me, yeah, the magic kind of disappeared with Steel died. And so for now, you know, I think writing this last chapter ourselves, going out the way we want to go out, and, and respecting Steel's memory and his talent and his ability, that's, this is the right thing to do. And, and that's, that's what it is. Listen, if you had have asked this when you were 18 years of age in Boys Home, if you had told us, you know when you're 45, you're still going to be doing that shit. <laughs> I would never have believed you. We are blessed to have made it this far. And that's down to you guys, okay? So, um, for us boys to get the opportunity to write the own chapter, as Ronan rightly said, 
but to play five nights in the London Palladium, finishing off on this beautiful, spectacular night. And there's no better way to write the final chapter than what we can see from where we're sitting. And then, What, what your ritual is before going on stage anyway, but what was different about tonight? What did you say to him? We forgot to do it. What? We forgot to do it until Stephen threw us off the lift. We were talking That's about why the lift broke. Yeah, we were, we were sent back to our quick change area and we went in and Shane said, you know what boys, we never did our prayer tonight. No. And we gathered ourselves together, we, we uh, said our prayer, we all, you know, we Are all we pitch in. Now it's just it's just a prayer of thanks. It's it's a prayer to make sure that everybody has a good time tonight, and not only that, that they all get home safe and sound. That um, we, we we you know we can be the best versions of ourselves while we're on stage together. If, um, if anybody is struggling, that we make sure that we have some camaraderie on stage and we take care of each other. We keep an eye on each other. We make sure that everybody's performing to their best ability. And like I said, that, that uh, you know, everybody here tonight just really, really enjoys themselves. But most importantly, it's all safe. Now. Hopefully, the, the, the lift mishap is the only thing that's going to go wrong tonight. But let's talk. Let's talk about some of the things that might have gone wrong in, in the past that are memorable. Maybe wardrobe malfunctions. Always like those stories. Bad fake tan stories. Falling off stage. No, we don't know that. Most of the time. Why the fuck did you look at me? <laughs> we're all time. It's after a bit. We don't do that. We're all we we call it St. Trope Heads. St. Trope Heads. St. Trope Heads. Mr. Trope Heads. Right, okay. We've had a lot. I think probably more than most bands. Because we're probably a little bit more rock and roll. I think so. You take more risks maybe in the wardrobe department. In every department. <laughs> Especially the hardware. Yeah. I used to work in the hardware department. I worked in the hardware department. He worked in every department. Stephen's favourite colour was red, by the way, because anybody's wondering. What about favourite looks from over the years? This one. That's one of my favourites. Phase, your steps. Okay, phase. someone made right, okay. I made some mistakes. The orange boiler suits, that was your That was my idea. Uh, the, the orange boiler suits, I'm going to put them on, except I'm yeah, slagging on that one. We had no money. Shane was walking in a garage. He had overalls spare. He said, he said What are we going to wear on stage? He said, Well, I do have some overalls. I don't want to. He got all he likes to wear in navy ones, so these ones are going to spare. Right, so we put them on and, and it was perfect. It was perfect. True story. I tell you, I saw actually a funny story, I don't know if anyone ever know, we've ever said this, but when we had those orange boiler suits, we all had we had five black, plain black, boys own t-shirts with the boys own symbol on the front. That was it, right? We thought, let's wear them with the boiler suits. But everybody go off. Because we got them for free, yeah, whatever. Of course, yeah, whatever. <laughs> go off and be creative with those t-shirts. And it's quite amazing actually because everybody came back and it's a real sign of their personality what they came back with. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we got some scissors. Yeah. Everybody got a set of scissors, go into a room, come back in 10 minutes. How long ago is this? This is 25 years ago. Probably 26. 26 years ago. And uh, so. You would never count anyway. So Shane and Keith. <laughs> Shane and Keith came back with. Um, muscle tops, right? So they would cut, cut the arms off, cut the necks off, they were like vests. And, yeah, so you can see their arms. Yeah, look, look at them, look at them. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey decided... <laughs> Do you remember Mikey? Mikey, Mikey was slashing, he was slashing on the road. Mikey just did some slashes across the front. <laughs> This is the best part of the cats. Well, 
I don't know, I, I was, you know, I was in a boy band and I was trying to make myself look a bit tougher, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so let's go yeah. to the other end of the stage. Steven. What did you say? Steven. Steven. No, no, this is the Oh, my, me, my, I did not. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you, did. <laughs> you did everything. You, you, you rolled your sleeves up. Oh, stop. <laughs> Hello. 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 I rolled my sleeve. I was it. I was it. Yeah, I was it. Stephen was it. Yeah. This so, is the best bit. We're going from Mikey's rock and roll slash. <laughs> and then the other end of the spectrum, we've got a belly top. Now, <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Stephen had not come out yet. He was straight, <laughs> but he was very belly top. Yeah. No, we should go sooner than that. Yeah. The first, did you guys oh. know that Stephen was gay? <laughs> no. Yeah. I like belly tops. Well, get you ready one picture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, this is the last time we got to hear this yesterday. All that, isn't it? There's, all, there's pictures out there, so it's <laughs> on, that's just somewhere yeah. on those tables, tied yeah. together with string that you were talking about. Oh yeah. Massive. And now here at the Palladium, a nice residency this week. Yeah. People have been coming from around the world. Every night. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a lot of ladies in tonight from France and Paris, and we've got ladies in um, Belgium. We've got people in from Indonesia, Australia, Canada, Hong Kong. Yeah. Are we forgetting anybody? There's, uh, there's a few people in from England, I believe. Yeah. 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 Is there any bodies in tonight? Scottish? Welsh? Welsh! Not even Wales, not Everybody give it to the party, aren't they? Boys, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, you're going to give it to them. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> what about yourselves tonight? How, how hard are you going to party? Yeah, well, not as much as the last four days because we were here. <laughs> oh, I'm joking, look. I'm joking. He's been a good guy. He's been a night every night at six. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, was eight. I think, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, yeah, we'll have a, we'll have a, a few gargles tonight. And obviously, you and I are back on radio on Monday morning at 6 a.m., so my party will only last two nights. I'll be as good as going on Sunday. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that, 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 we'll have a few, we'll have a few. Come on. Yeah, I, think, I think you had a few last night, Harry. Did I don't think we're bringing that up. I think this is a good thing. Hang on. Hang on a second, I told you on Monday night when we sat down here that I didn't like the fact that you fed put me on the end, alright? Yeah. Now it's Friday night and it's Harry. Where did you go last night? What did you do last night, Harry? Did you have a little glass of red wine? I am not on tour, you know. I'm not getting up in the morning to do the breakfast show. And as the week's gone on, I've got a party spirit. So last night, yeah, just got a little bit out of hand. But this is Harry, the dog, and this is fine. <laughs> Oh, no, we have to remember, this young lady is up at 4 o'clock every morning to do her radio show with that Irish blondie fella. <laughs> Brian McFadden? No! no. This is Scottish, I think. So I know we're probably running out of time, but our other nights we have touched on are on the future, so you will be continuing with Boy's Life. Yes. Yeah, we just finished recording an album, and um, hopefully out early next year sometime. And, um, if you bought a brochure, you'll see we're on tour from February to March. I think it was sold out, did I say that? No, some of the nights are sold out. The rest won't be sold out until Saturday. Uh, Shane, what about you? Just as usual, you know, everyone knows our drag race cars, do a TV show on the and all that kind of stuff. There will be some music for next year. We're going to have a project tonight. Mikey. We're going to put your back together. Call the symbolics. <laughs> I'm Sim, and he's the boss. I told you to be safe. I'm Sim, and you told you to redeem yourself. <laughs> and I laughed after me joke. <laughs>
But that one was funny. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I didn't come up yeah. first. Oh, I'm sick of this band, I'm leaving it tonight. Yes, I'm just too bad, I'll have a light tomorrow, right? Um, yes. Nick, how are you doing? I'm going to be in studio, I'm going to be writing and producing and developing new artists. Yeah, I might even do an album down there. Please. Yeah. Are you standing in the middle? 